Good morning and welcome to the third travel vlog from our USA Strata trip where we're making our way to various different theme parks all the way across the United States of America and also Canada. Um, so yeah, here we are in the car this morning making our way to yet another theme park. We're actually on the way to Holiday World and we're making the journey uh, from the hotel uh, that I showed you at the end of the last travel vlog. So make sure you check it out if you've not seen it. That journey, about 35 minutes, just over 30 miles uh, straight to the park. When we booked all these hotels before coming out here to the States, we tried our best to make sure that we were doing the drives in the evening after the parks were closed uh, when we had still quite a bit of energy so we could wake up in the morning a little bit later uh, and do the shorter drive to the park and that's exactly what we've been doing so far and that concept seems to be working um, so yeah in the car at the moment of course I'm not driving Alex is driving just here this morning Merry Christmas um, Merry Christmas yeah that's the, the theme for today we've got uh, some big stuff to get on today including three wooden coasters um, numerous award winners along with that as well uh, we've got a launch to B&M so I can't wait for that wind coaster uh, but yeah I'm going to show you a little bit of this journey down here and then of course we're going to follow the same theme with this vlog as we have done with the other uh, travel vlog that I filmed um, so we're going to be showing you the different hotels show you the one tonight show you that drive to Kings Island I'm expecting quite a, a great skyline for that one to share with you guys when we go there tomorrow of course that drive up to Cedar Point we're going to be sharing all of that uh, because obviously I did a Cedar Point travel vlog when I went last year however that was using public transport this time we'll be driving over the causeway and one of them I can't wait just to go back here over onto that um, causeway again and get all the fantastic views. Along with that as well, we're then going to be making our way down to Tennessee, doing some driving all around there. Uh, so that's all to look forward to in this very travel vlog. And so, we won't be alone in this travel vlog, yes. finally. It's not just the two of us. Um, we'll have an extra company join us later down the journey, which is going to be good fun. Mm. And so far, the journey's been going really well. Let's see if it continues throughout the travel vlog. Yeah, I mean, we've not really hit much traffic at all. Um, fingers crossed, like, it's going to continue that way. I mean, look at this this morning. I'll show you the road. It's a busy day. Like, look at this. Like, this is in the morning. Like, it's 20 past nine. You know, the time like, you expect people to be out and about. Like. Yeah, like we, we've had a lot of roads just like this, and because we've been doing a lot of travelling on an evening, <laughs> it's been like this really. So, yeah, I'll show you a little bit more of the drive as we approach Holiday World, Santa Claus. Right then, so we're all parked up here on the lot, here at Holiday World. Not like many cars here, actually, to be honest, especially for a Sunday. Not like there was a few people heading in, but not too bad. Not that uh, traditional American school bus over there. Look at that. <laughs> awesome, bright yellow. Yeah, I'm walking down this way. It looks like we're going under a little subway, under the road. It'll take us over to the park. So there we are. That's the end of this part of the travel vlog. And of course, we'll see you this evening where we're going to be making the journey from Holiday World towards Ohio and Kings Island. And of course, we're going to be staying in a hotel up there tonight where we'll give you a little tour around. So we'll see you later on. Right then, good evening after our day that we've just had at Holiday World. And look at the weather. Like, you may have already seen it over in the vlog that we've done from the park. But look at this, we've just literally leaving the parking lot now. We've been rained off today. We've got every coaster in, luckily. We've done a few re-rides. Not as much as we were hoping to, but like I say, check out that full vlog to see our day. Uh, but we're starting off on our next journey now. Um, we're looking at getting there. We're about half past 11-ish by the time we've had a bit of a stop, a bit of a fuel up. We're looking at about two hours 52, 190 miles to make our way up towards our hotel near Kings Island, ready for uh, tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to it. But yeah, look at this, I mean, absolutely bucketing it down with rain visibility is really quite low bear in mind it's getting dark now as well so the screens are on top speed and yeah they can't go any faster we're gonna just have to go you know a little bit careful here obviously with it being our first time driving over in the states as well we want to just make sure that we're as safe as we can be with this tonight visibility is going to be low especially if this carries on in the next half an hour when it gets pitch black so an open car park yeah, yeah. With not really any traffic but you can see the lightning like these flashes 
Um, this rain it is torrential. I mean, some of the heaviest rain I think I've ever seen this is. Yes, we get a lot more rainy days back in the UK, but we don't quite get it like this, or not normally anyway. Um, this is torrential rain. So, like I said, I'll show you a bit more of the journey as we make our way up there. We'll be swapping again, doing pretty much half each. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll keep you up to date with the journey as we now leave Santa Claus. Right then, so we're just under 30 minutes away from our destination and the rain has not stopped for this whole drive. Bear in mind, it's been a nearly three hour drive and yeah, it's just not stopped raining. It's nowhere near as hard as it was uh, when it first started coming down, but absolutely crazy. But yeah, Alex is still going. I mean, you wanted to do the full drive, didn't you tonight? Yeah, I haven't stopped yet. I mean, and neither is the rain. I'm thinking who's gonna stop first, me or the rain? The rain is probably at the quietest right now it's been for the whole journey, to be honest with you. As soon as Sean kind of started rolling the camera, actually, it seemed to, die off a little bit but my goodness it's been a it's been a stormy evening so far i've got to say and we're now in a different time zone we're now in eastern time yeah rather than central time so from the united kingdom we were six hours behind we're now five hours we've actually made an hour up to the uk but we're losing an hour this evening in journey time which is really quite surreal sure yeah so technically it means we're getting an hour less sleep however even though it's already changed before we've gone to sleep because we're going to be there at quarter past 12, but really, we'd have been there at quarter past 11, you know, so. Yeah, the sat nav um, knew what time we were going to arrive in the new state, so in the new time zone, it's automatically done it, which is great. So we're actually just driving through Cincinnati at the moment, and I know you can't really see a lot through the windows, um, but I'll try and show you a little bit just here. It's very nice. I mean, we've just gone down a bit of a gradual decline on the road, so it's meant that it's fantastic. I tell you what, I'm going to do the window down a little bit. Are you ready? Get ready, viewers. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that bridge is great though, isn't it? Look at that. Wow, look at all them buildings. Oh, look at that. I don't know how much you can hear me right now, but... Really nice skyline, that is, all them buildings. A big, huge stadium over there. Look at that. That's really, really nice, isn't it? That building over there kind of reminds me of the Empire State Building a little bit, actually, just in terms of that Art Deco design that it's got on there. There we go, here's that building just here with all the lights on. It's quite cool, isn't it? And there we go, windows up. But so uh, yeah, we're gonna continue around this way. We should be there in, what, it's 18 miles until we get to our accommodation. So following on with the theme of these travel vlogs, I'll show you the room when we get up there. What are we staying in tonight? Can't remember. A roadway in. Roadway in. I assume Cincinnati. that's some sort of chain. I mean, we're not staying in one of those yet, but yeah, we'll have a little look around when we uh, we get up there shortly. Awesome. Right then, so we're all checked in. We've arrived at our hotel. I just noticed this very concerning sign on the back of the door just here. It says daily maximum rate for this room, two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, we haven't paid that. No, we definitely. They only charged me sixty. I'd went just when I paid at the uh, at the reception desk. Uh, well, there you go. This is actually one of the better rooms that we've stayed in, in my opinion. I mean, this is really nice. They've all been quite big, but this one just feels a bit more modern in terms of the the decor in here. Colour scheme. Alex, the model over there. These lights are quite nice. You got like a nice sort of brown finish on the wall there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's like a chair that you when you go like the dentist or something like you sit on and wait or I mean, the whole, you know, the whole chill out. Feels like kind of like a doctor's surgery. Or yeah, we said that when we rocked up, didn't really we? Strange. Um, but yeah, of course. Follow on with the theme. We've got two queen beds over there. This is a massive. what I would normally call an editing suite. However, I've been, actually been editing in the car this evening. That's a vlog that's uh, currently rendering on there. It's already online. And um, it's already online. Yeah, it's really weird. Like these are the last few vlogs from the Europe trip that I've been editing and rendering that of course are now online because you're watching these ones so yeah crazy got a nice mirror there but look at all that loads of storage in here isn't they a little scouter oh we can't get in that was a bit of a fail wasn't it you know what i'm not going to open that anymore because i feel like that's gonna that's gonna break <laughs> but yeah nice swivelly chair it's like the apprentice or something 
Yeah. There sure, we go. Last feet, the tally remote. The tally remote? Thank you. So lazy. So lazy. I'm working hard. Here we go. Can you catch? Ready? Three, catch. two, one. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> okay, three point three. Uh, there we are. Right, Microwave, right. fridge down there. Nice sort of area over here as well. I've got me, I've uh, got my trousers on tonight after we had that soaking earlier on and decided to uh, put my trousers on. And no, to be you'll, honest, you'll have to play golf in a few hours. Are you? Golf? Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> get ready for my game of golf. Loads of nice fresh towels. Got a bath in there, and that's the all the toilet as well. Yeah, this is one of the nicer rooms I'd say that we've stopped in actually. Can't complain for like sixty dollars. Um, but yeah, there you, there you go. So the journey in the morning isn't going to be that far at all. It's about ten minutes. So. Not too far at all for us to get to Kings Island. Really excited to see it all. Uh, we've got a busy day ahead tomorrow, so I'm gonna pretty much get straight to sleep tonight. Try and get uh, like a good eight hours in. Uh, before getting up in the morning, we're gonna sort of rise about nine o'clock. Park opens at 10, it's only a 10 minute drive. Um, so yeah, I'll show you a bit of that drive in the morning. I think this is gonna have a pretty epic skyline uh, driving into this park, so I'll be sure to share all that with you in the morning. Uh, but for now, good night. And we'll see you tomorrow when we continue on with this travel vlog. Let's go and get some sleep. Right then, so good morning. We're on the drive here to Kings Island. And there we go, look at this. This is like the main road that these down to it. Oh, look at that skyline over there. You can see the uh, replica of the Eiffel Tower, a much smaller version of it, but still, I think it's like a third of the height or something like that. That's at the bottom of the main entrance street. It's Kings Island. But yeah, hopefully we'll see a little bit more shortly when we've uh, turned right just here. Well, no, we're going straight on for a little bit, I think. Oh, are we? Oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit further. But um, yeah, so looking forward to uh, this part today. A little bit nervous to see how much we can get in. We've only got one day. This definitely would have been a two day park um, if we could have done. But uh, yeah, I'll show you a little bit more when we're driving in. Just a second, just waiting for the lights to change. Wow, look at that for a view. That's a pretty epic skyline. There's Banshee off to the left. Oh, can't wait. Here's the big sign just here. Passenger drop off. I don't think we want that one. We're not dropping anybody off. We're both going in. Make sure you don't want to drop you off. Oh, I'm positive. There's the entrance to the parking lot there, that building. So, not much traffic coming in. I mean, it's a Monday today, so we're hoping for it to be quite quiet because we've got a lot of rides to get on, lots to be riding. Lots I don't to be want doing. to jinx it by saying it'll be quiet, but hopefully it will be. 10 till 10. I mean, I can see it maybe getting busier later on when people look, sort of finish work and leave school. The postman and the milkman finish the job. Here we go, Kings Island. Right, we'll get parked up. Oh, look at that accommodation over there. Pretty entrance. Oh, wow, there, that's too. nice, isn't it? Here we go, drive past the main side. That's giving me like uh, Animal Kingdom lodge vibes, looking at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mardi Gras kind of style. Oh, that is nice. I didn't even know they the had an on site hotel. I mean, I assume it's theirs. I'm looking at it. Oh, wow. Lodge. That looks really nice. But yeah, look at this. For I me, mean, for half an hour before park opening, we're looking good on crowd levels. Weather. Certainly better this morning, Squirrel. <laughs> Certainly right. better than uh, it was. However, it still doesn't look great, but it's really cleared the air, which is good. So, right, we'll get parked up and we'll see you this evening when we're going to be driving from Kings Island up to Cedar Point, and I'm really excited for it. So we'll see you all this evening after our day here at Kings Island. $20 for free if you've got a pass. Morning. Right then, so we've just spent the day at Kings Island and uh, make sure you watch the vlog here on the channel to see our full day at the park. Um, I'm not going to go too much into our experience here. This is a travel vlog. It's about the drives. It's about the hotels. Um, yeah, check out the vlog uh, to see what happened. But what I will mention is, let's just say we've got off about an hour earlier than uh, what was originally expecting tonight um, because of the park closing early. So we're making that drive up towards Cedar Point where we're going to be spending the next two days. Of course, in terms of the travel vlog, We'll show you this hotel and there's not really going to be anything in the uh, in the middle there because you know we're going to be staying there we're staying in one of the on-site hotels uh, i will show you a little bit of the drive to the park in the morning because we're going to be staying just off the causeway which is the road um, that leads up to the park in terms of the journey here from king's island and um, we're looking at at the moment from here about three hours 20 um which is 203 miles i think when we started the journey it was like uh, 212 miles average something like that 
Um, so yeah, we should be there about half past one in the morning. So, you know, we're gonna get a good night's sleep. Um, you know me, I like to get about seven or eight hours. So yeah, we should just about get that tonight before going on board tomorrow. And so. we've also pitched to picked up an extra body on this trip too, haven't in we? In the back, have a look Let's at this. Let's turn around, there he is, Brett's here. How you doing, Brett, are you well? Got my McDonald's uh, Coke. He's got his Coca-Cola ready to go. And Brett, how are you finding the journey so far? Yes. The car's pretty comfy, Sean's a good driver, we're all excited for tomorrow at the, after the end of today and just looking forward to the day at Cedar tomorrow. It's going to be good, looking forward to it boys. Yeah, That's, uh... exciting and uh, obviously following on from our trip to Cedar in the travel vlog, we're going to be having a big night drive, uh, an eight hour drive all the way from up at Cedar Point down to Dollywood and that's going to be a big drive we're going to be doing a lot of swapping over um, yeah it's a big one over 500 miles so anyway we'll get a few more shots as we progress a bit further I'm starting off tonight we'll swap over later on and uh, yeah get a bit more footage when we get to down closer towards the point Right then, so the drive is going reasonably well. I mean, we're looking at an ETA just after half past one at Cedar Point, and here we are in a little town. Uh, it's actually been a very small road. I mean, it's been like a single track on each side road, hasn't it really, for About the past- 30 miles. 30 miles, yeah, it's just been a single carriageway. Um, yeah, we swapped over a little bit further back. I did just over half the drive, Alex is back in. Um, but yeah, I just thought we'd show you a little bit of this round here. It's quite built up, I mean, this is the first bit of built up uh, we've seen in in a while to be honest it's been pretty much in the middle of nowhere and of course i thought maybe we, we, because we've got the sat nav set up for no tolls this was some smaller roads but this seems like it is the main road to get up there but i'll keep you updated as always i'll show you the room when we arrive and uh, yeah we're doing well 20 miles away until we get to the point Okay then, so welcome to Cedar Point's Castaway Bay, the indoor water park resort. Ooh, yeah, I love it. But yes, this is a on-site hotel here at Cedar Point. However, it is located off the main island itself and it's got an indoor water park. I mean, uh, I don't think we can really see any of the water park uh, other than that there's a few slides just around the side here. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't really think you can see that much because it's closed on an evening. Uh, we are thinking about maybe going into the water park tomorrow afternoon for a couple of hours and if we do I'll definitely try and get a bit of footage uh, at the side of it but there you go there's a little look at the uh, some of the slides it's an indoor water park and they're just out to the side so here's a little look inside the lobby just here some really nice theming I mean quite a grand atrium up there like I say I imagine in the daytime it's more alive of activity around here but yeah look at that big boat it's got a nice photo opportunity. But yeah, so the only actual hotel what they've got that's actually on the island with Cedar Point itself um, is Hotel Breakers. Uh, I've not stayed there, but I have walked around there and it does look very nice and I'd love to stay there at some point in the future. They've also got Lighthouse Point, uh, but that's log cabins. Um, and also you can bring up like your own uh, camper van there, your RV, you can bring to there as well. So yeah, little, uh, look around this one I mean I did a tour of the Express Hotel which is where we stayed last time originally we were going to be staying there this time however because of the bed situation and us needing three beds we actually transferred over to this hotel so a little look at the different facilities they've got a few different restaurants in here uh, and yeah I mean it's quite nicely themed I wouldn't say it's one of the nicest theme park hotels I've stayed in um, but, but however for the price it wasn't too bad and just to be close to the park to be honest um, was great. So I'll take you up to the top so you can see our room. Here's a little look down the corridor just here. Kind of gives me vibes of like Sequoia Lodge at Disneyland Paris walking down here in terms of the corridor. It does feel quite old. Yeah, a little walk down here to our room. And we're just here. We are Starfish, which is just here at the side. 309. Here we are. Contactless key on the door. And there we go. I know there's nobody in, so I don't need to knock. Da, 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 da. Now I do apologise about the mess of the room, bear in mind there's three of us staying in here. Not the biggest of rooms, so it's a little bit messy, but here we go. Start off, we've got this wonderful picture here of Rougarou. Used to be known as Mantis. Was a B&M stand-up. Now I've got the flawless trains on there. And it's a sit-down coaster. Here's a look in the bathroom just here. So look at all this milk what Alex has got. Um, so there's a little look at uh, another coaster. On the wall, that is actually Raptor, the B&M inverted coaster. That opened in 1994. And we've got two beds just here, and then we've got another sofa bed over there. I mean, to be honest, you'd expect that 
with a lot of family staying here that there'd be another proper bed in terms of maybe a bunk bed or something instead of a pull out bed but it is what it is we didn't pay too much for the room um but yeah like it, it, it's not one of the best hotel rooms i've stayed in um but yeah you have got like a safe you got coffee machine you got a fridge down there tv plenty of charging areas um, yeah, you know, I'd say it's pretty basic, especially when you look at the likes of Kronosar at Europa Park that I stayed in. Let's have a little look out here on the balcony. That was like an epic, uh, epic fail, wasn't it? Quite hard to do when you're holding a camera. Oh, there we go. I'll tell you what, let me put the camera down and then I can open the door. That was like a big fail, wasn't it there? But there you go, these things happen. Uh, here's a look out the back just here. I mean, uh, this is absolutely beautiful in the daytime. I'll try and get a bit of a shot out here in the morning. Yeah, this gives you a bit of an idea on how far we are from the park itself. Uh, so if I zoom in, I mean, I'm not too sure how it's going to come out here because there's actually a mosquito, a uh, bug's net. That over there is top through a dragster. See there with the lights and the, uh, you got the height beacon on top there. Well, there you go. That's a little look. We've got a nice little balcony. <coughs> Excuse me. It's quite nice, isn't it? Not one of my favourite on-site hotels but it's on site it's nice and easy uh, for us to drive up to the park worth pointing out much like with the express hotel which is located around the corner if you haven't got a car there's no way of getting there unless you use a taxi an uber or try and get a lift with someone else going to the park so uh, which is what i had to do last time i was here when i stayed at the express i find it pretty crazy to be honest that on-site hotels don't run shuttles over to uh, the park itself bear in mind it's over on an island in lake erie it's only got like one road connecting to it you can't walk down there there's no bikes or anything and um, so yeah it's one of those isn't it that um you've really got to plan ahead and think if you've got a car brilliant if not really you want to be staying in breakers over on uh the main island itself but there you go as you can tell i'm very very tired food is coming back uh, then guys are going to do the mcdonald's run good night and we'll see you on that drive Right then, so good morning. This is a bit of a bucket list thing for me because as much as I was here at Cedar Point last year, for my first ever visit, I didn't have a car. So I've always wanted to drive into Cedar Point and look at this view guys. Here we go. Wow. This, this is one of the best skylines, if not oh, the best word. skyline ever to a park. Uh, and what makes this park here at Cedar Point is the fact that this is the only way over to get to it over the causeway just here as you can see lake erie at either side of us this is a huge lake uh, that spans across the usa and canada as well and cedar point is located just off uh, into the lake here and that's a big reason why this park uh, is just so famous i mean look at that skyline over there it gets even better it's, i think it's about two miles long this causeway and um, if you are looking at coming over here you can't walk along this you can't cycle along this uh, you do have to come along in a car because I looked at all sorts of options when I was here last year and as much as you could walk down the side obviously in America I wouldn't recommend it like that there is actually signs at the side what say um, no pedestrians you do have to uh, be in a vehicle along here and um, yeah that, that anticipation of seeing all these different coasters down here is absolutely incredible uh, of course, Topfield Dragster down there, uh, Millennium Force off to the left, Valraven there. Um, you can see pretty much everything in the park. Gatekeepers going round testing. Um, but yeah, I must say the ride for me, what looks the best from this view uh, is Millennium Force. I mean, as much as it's not one of my favourites here, just that view looking at it, I think it's incredible. And uh, here we go. We're Are you excited, Brett? Can't wait, man. Ready to go. Uh, Steel Vengeance over the back. Woo! Steely V. So we're just gonna get parts up, and of course, make sure you uh, check out the main theme park vlogs themselves. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So that's this the end of this part of the travel vlog. Like I say, we're up here now for a couple of days. So I'll next see you all when we're going to be making this eight-hour drive down to Dollywood, which is going to be really fun. But and bring it on. We're looking forward to it. We'll see you all later on. See the point, everybody. Oh, look at that lighting. We've just had an incredible two days at Cedar Point here in Sandusky, Ohio, on Lake Erie. And this is it, we're driving out on this long drive. This is the biggest drive of our road trip tonight. We're in for a big one. However, tomorrow is gonna to be more than worth it. The time now is 10.57. We're gonna arrive at our destination tonight, currently at 7 a.m. We've got 530 miles, eight hours worth of driving to do tonight it's a big one this is the one where a lot of people said 
you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to stay at Cedar Point until close. I mean, we're an hour after close because we did the last ride, of course, on Vengeance. We're an hour after close, and yeah, this is the point now where we've got to do this big drive, and we're home to get to the park by the time it opens in the morning. So here we go, Alex is starting off. I am. In terms of what we're doing tonight, the, the plan before, I mean, we're both feeling good tireless-wise, so aren't far, we? So far, I mean, eight hours from now may be a different story, but so far, so good. Bear in mind, we've just done a 13-hour park day as well. Oh, look at Blue Streets, like, it. oh, awesome. Um, so yeah, the plan is, we're gonna, Alex is sort of gonna do around two hours now, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna do around two hours, and then Alex is gonna do around two hours, sure, and then I'm gonna do around two hours. two hours. That's the plan. If we stick to that or not, we're going to just see how we go. I think the thing is, we've kind of set that as a, a basic guideline. It's always good to kind of routine yourself. How are you splitting up your drives? How many t different times are you going to have to think, right, my rest over, I've got another drive to do, and how long for? It may be three hours, one hour, one hour, you know, three hours. We don't know. It's just how our bodies are feeling, but we're going to kind of try to make it half and half in a fair routine. It might even be that we do four one-hour drives. We don't know. It's Anything's it's possible. However it works for you and your physical capabilities. And the key to this is safety. Of course, when you drive in over 500 miles in one go, if one of us is feeling tired, we need to sort straight away. You do know this is the um, one time on this trip I get to say, oh, I would drive 500 <laughs> yeah. miles. Because this is it. Hollywood. I am a bit sad though that we are leaving one of my favourite ever parks, but it's first visit to Dollywood. Can't wait to uh, be there in the morning. So I'll keep you up to date throughout the drive on the times and bear in mind it's saying all oh, 6.59 you made up a minute um wow but, you know bear in mind you gotta think with this we're gonna be stopping off for refuels gonna be a couple of those along the way little rest stops if we need to just get any snacks or anything uh, so yeah let's go for him the plan is hopefully if we do get there a little bit before opening we can get a couple of hours sleep in the car all of us before we hit up the park so some people say we're crazy we're theme park worldwide we're going for it and we'll see you a little later Right then, so we've got 48 miles left of this over 500 mile journey that me and Alex have been doing through the night. And yeah, we're in Tennessee and yeah, the weather conditions haven't been great on the drive down. I mean, I've been asleep for a couple of hours when we were doing, uh, when we swapped over just, I mean, it was absolutely chucking it down when, uh, when Brett and Alex were, were just chatting and obviously Alex was driving. But to be honest, now we're getting a bit closer the weather does look a bit better. In terms of the drive, it's gone pretty well, really. I mean, we've not really had much traffic or anything. Uh, we're arriving about 10 past eight. Bear in mind, I think the park opens at 10. So we've got time for maybe another hour's worth of sleep. How I'm feeling this morning, not great at all. Uh, I probably feel, yeah, one of the worst that I have done at the trip so far. However, I'm looking forward to getting into this park. I'm hoping that the weather's gonna improve. Uh, and yeah, we're looking at 55 minutes from now, 47 miles. You saw a bit of footage there as well, just of some of the scenery uh, driving down here. Uh, and it looks absolutely wonderful. I must say though, um, oh, vehicle stops in the shoulder, safety first. Uh, I must say what quite disappoints me a little bit about round here, with it being an area of such natural beauty, I'm surprised they allow all the billboards like up around the roads and stuff, I mean, me personally, I think when something's so beautiful, they shouldn't be allowing like billboards and stuff. I know back home, we've got a motorway up north, and yes, the motorway runs through like the area of natural beauty, but they even paint all the signs brown so it like blends in and stuff. Like, yeah, like, I'm hoping like when we get down towards the park, it's a lot less sort of tacky in terms of signage and things. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm very, very tired but gonna hope for the best and hoping for that 1,000th coaster today. So we'll see you a little bit later. I am absolutely shattered, but we've done it. Many people said that we wouldn't be able to drive all the way from Cedar Point up in Ohio, uh, all the way down here to Dollywood in Tennessee, and we've done it. I mean, we're not directly on the parking lot yet. We're actually on the uh, parking lot to our hotel this evening, which is a travel lodge, believe it or not. Stay a lot of those back in the UK. Uh, but yeah, we've made it. We're very tired and the weather is not great at the moment. There's actually storms ahead. However, Brett has looked at the weather and it looks like it is going to clear. 
which is really good. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, around here, it's quite nice around Pigeon Forge in terms of all the different attractions. Reminds me a little bit of International Drive, um, I would say over in Florida. Reminds me a little bit of Blackpool Seafront. It's got a bit of everything mixed together uh, around here. Looking forward to seeing more of it. I wish I was feeling more ready and pumped to go. However, I think as soon as I get on some of the rides, I'm going to be fine. That's if we get on the rides. I mean, looking at the moment, it's, uh, yeah, it's certainly not the best out there. But we'll see what happens. We'll, uh, I'll get a bit more footage when we're driving up into Dollywood. We thought we'll park here for a little bit because it's still early days yet. Um, there's about an hour and a half to go until park opens. Then we'll drive up there and we'll get inside the park. Right then, here we are. Dollywood, I oh, love every moment. This is a major bucket list moment for me right now. I'm excited and this is it. We're driving into Dollywood. I mean, I'm, I was tired about an hour ago. I'm not too bad now, actually. We've had a bit of a freshen up. The hotel were kind enough to let us in there a little bit earlier, um, just so we could go and have a quick freshen up. Not in the room, but just use some of the public services in there. Just to have a quick freshen up, ready for the park. I assume this is all extended parking down here, looking at the at the trolleys over there that will take you to the entrance. A bit like Silver Dollar City. Um, but there you go, that wonderful drive in. I mean, this looks wonderful here, how it's all in the trees. Massive bucket list park. Really, really excited. All little houses along the side, which is interesting. Like, even though we've gone in through the main entrance, you've got like a bit of a housing estate, which is interesting. Cool, there we go, following it round. There's me in the mirror. Hey. Here we go, pay for parking here. I assume we're going to be parking down here, are we, by the looks of the, where we are, unless this road maybe leads, yeah, leads, all, the leads all the way around, does it? Oh, yeah. awesome. Pearl. Well, inclement weather we expected today, oh dear. Let's see what happens. I tell you what, it really is a beautiful area around Pigeon Forge. I've loved it over the past two days. And here we go, we're back in the car leaving the area. We're actually going to be leaving Tennessee and making our way down to Georgia uh, because today we're going to Six Flags. So what we've done a bit different today is we're actually doing the long drive early in the morning. So it's been an early rise this morning. We've been up since uh, five o'clock. It's now five to six. Um, so we left the hotel about half an hour ago, just to the fuel up. And yeah, we're doing the uh, just under four hour drive. I think it's what, about three and a half hours just over. Um, so from here, 240 miles so in total I think it's been about 250 or about 10 miles in uh, but yeah making our way down there this morning I mean the reason why we've done a lot of the drives on a night is mainly so we can get more sleep because it's worked out that really as soon as you come out of the park you're still quite energized and awake so we've done the long drive and then got to our hotel quite late but then woke up like an hour before park opening yeah, we've done it a bit different today, mainly because we wanted a little bit more time uh, around Pigeon Forge. And last night we did loads of the attractions around there uh, and it was absolutely fantastic. And of course, uh, check out the vlogs from those. Uh, but yeah, this will also be the final day of this travel vlog before we move into the fourth travel vlog uh, from the trip. But yeah, I'm gonna show you all the way down here, uh, get some footage of any highlights along the way. Like I say, it's three and a half hours, so it's not a ridiculously long drive should be there uh, about 40 minutes before park opening about 20 past nine so yeah not too bad at all really just noticed a uh, fireworks superstore there on the uh, right hand side love to go in one of those get a little souvenir don't think they'll let me take one of them back with me though do you but uh, <laughs> there you go really nice round here we've seen a lot not quite as much as I, I would have liked to have seen. I mean, I could spend a week round here, to be honest, doing bits around Pigeon Forge, uh, but it's a great area. Anyway, I'll uh, give you a little bit of footage when we uh, go down this way and see what we see, any highlights on the drive to make our way down to Georgia. Right then, so the drive this morning has gone really well. Personally, I do prefer driving on an evening. I tend to have a bit more energy on an evening. Uh, but yeah, we've done it, I mean, we've done about half each. And yeah, here we are at Six Flags Over Georgia. Look at the views just over here. Really, really nice. 
really looking Six forward to giving it a go, guys, to the Hyper Coach direction. All the coasters look quite, uh, most of each other are quite close to the ride here as well, uh, close to the uh, road, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I mean, don't really know what to expect, but we've made it down here in good time. Uh, it's 9.30, so yeah, we've got, uh, got here in good time. I'll, uh, we'll get out of the car, show you a little bit more footage, and then, uh, yeah, we'll wrap up this little part of the travel vlog. Tell you what, for a Saturday, car park's not too busy. Oh, sorry, I should be saying parking lot. We're here in the States, aren't we? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad on here. <laughs> no, look, it's not the nicest of car parts, but you get some great views when you're driving in. There you go, cars all parked up. Just getting the bags ready and we're going park. So we'll see you later on tonight. We're coming to the end of this travel vlog, like I say. I'll show you our accommodation tonight. Because uh, we're going to be driving close to Carowinds. We're going to be staying about 10 miles away from there. And uh, yeah, I'll show you that this evening. We'll see you a little later. Right then, so we've had our day at Six Flags Over Georgia, and to be honest, it's one of the worst theme park days I've ever had. But make sure you check out the main vlog uh, over here on our YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, what a bit of a different angle here in the, uh, in the mirror just here. And uh, yeah, we're actually on the car park at Walmart because we're starting off on our next drive to our next park. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God. And this is actually gonna be the end of this particular travel vlog this evening with a bit of a room tour when we get there. So we're going to be there for about half past 12, three hours 46 of driving, 247 miles as we make our way uh, down towards Carowinds. So Indeed, Rock Hill is the place we'll be staying Rock around. Rock Hill, tonight. we're staying in at Econo Lodge, aren't we, tonight? Oh. Um, so yeah, Alex is kicking off the drive. We'll stop a little bit later on, get a bit more footage on the way. Do we make our way up here? I mean, are we going to see a bit of Atlanta, do you think, as we... Uh, Maybe so. Yeah, so... Right oh, oh, that's good. So I'll be able to get a bit of footage of that. And anything interesting along the way, of course, I will uh, show you guys here in the video. But yeah, we'll get started on the road. Should be there about half 12, which is good because it means we're right near the park. I much prefer doing the drive on a night like this uh, instead of the morning. Like this morning, I was a bit tired doing the drive. Much better doing it on a night for me. And it means that we can lay until like nine o'clock and then get straight to the park in the morning. See you a little later. Some absolutely wonderful views there of Atlanta in Georgia. And the drive went really well. It's just gone one in the morning. And we've made it here to our Econo Lodge. So thought I'd give you a little tour around here. Uh, now, of course, Brett originally was gonna be flying home tonight. Um, so yeah, we've actually just been to Walmart and Brett has bought something special. So I'm gonna spin you around. He's got an airbed so he can join us in some of these hotels. So here we go, how's this work, Brett? Have you ever slept on an airbed before? I well, I've just had a look at the instructions. <laughs> you got your operator's manual, yeah. is that your Coswap, is it? Right, yeah. Right, so okay. apparently, this big device at the back. Let's have a look at that. You plug this into the outlet, obviously. What, yeah. that, you just, what, attach yeah. that onto there? This undoes this. Oh, there's like a, a socket in there, isn't yeah. it? Like, there <laughs> oh, you there you go. I hope you've not bought a dinghy and you've bought a bed. That's Can all you imagine? Like, it goes like this here, through this little thing. Oh, well, no. I think it's going to be sound really loud. I'm expecting like a... This goes like this. And then this. Just let me undo this a second. Here you go. You may have noticed, I, I, am, I am in bed. Like, I'm, I'm set for the night. I'm watching these two. It's like putting a tent up in the bed. You know? <laughs> Might have only had about four and a half hours sleep last night, but I'm feeling so fresh. I feel the best today and yesterday. And I've done all trip, which is good. Uh, but yeah, we're at Carowinds tomorrow. This is the last part of this travel vlog. We're going to see Brett setting up this airbed. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you a little tour of the room as well as he's getting that <laughs> sorted. Oh, oh, is it going in? Ten. No, that's not. Here we go. Is there a button to press? Got your op panel. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. It's even got a built-in blow-up pillow. Oh, it's good. And I've even got a pillow for you over there. Especially from Walmart. I bought that one from the uh, for the car for the journeys. I told you it'd be quite loud. Sorry, next door. It's one in the morning. <laughs> yeah. The Econo Lodge. Yeah, it's the cleaners. It's the cleaners. So we got two big queen beds. A storage, you know. Oh, that just nearly fell off. Needs a new hinge on there. In terms of Wi-Fi, all the vlog from Negro Land is now 1% uploaded. Got a fridge, got a TV. Microwave, look at that mirror. That's an impressive mirror, that is, isn't it? For like a Cono Lodge. There you go. Got look inside the uh, toilet and bathroom. There you go. How's it inflating down there, Brett? It's going good. Let me just come and check your operation. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's solid, that is. Is that enough, do you think? And then you press it, then you have to stop. It sounds like it's going to blow, mate. I'd turn that off. I didn't, I didn't have... Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> and a blow. But there you go. There that go. is all for this travel vlog. Like, hope you've enjoyed it. It's been the third one of the trip. We had that initial one coming out here with the flight and getting the car. And then another one with various different hotels. And this one where we've also gone to various different journeys and hotels as well. Um, but there you go, in the morning we'll continue with another travel vlog and that'll be coming soon here on Theme Park Worldwide. All in the playlist from this epic USA road trip. And uh, yeah, can't wait. I mean, we're well over halfway into the trip now. Uh, looking forward to Carowinds in the morning. That's when we'll kick off another travel vlog, show you that journey arriving at the park. We're going to be seeing Fury 325 and it's going to be incredible. Uh, I'm Sean Sandbrook, thank you very much for watching. And that means it's time to give you those credits. Inflatable beds, everybody.